Hey everybody, Sue's here back with another keto cooking video. For this week's keto dinner idea, I threw together a healthy, clean keto sheet pan recipe. It's just a sheet pan chicken with caramelized Brussels sprouts. Super simple, basic. This is definitely the type of keto recipe that you can actively lose weight on. Uh, of course, I'm on keto just to maintain my blood sugars, but those of you out there looking for some weight loss recipes, this one uh, would be a good go-to for you. So to start with, in a large bowl, I'm adding about two pounds of chicken, which for me was just four nice-sized chicken breasts. On top of those, I'm adding one pound of fresh Brussels sprouts that are just trimmed and washed cut in half. And then I'm adding seasonings just straight to this to make it really easy quarter of a teaspoon coriander, ground coriander, quarter of a teaspoon red pepper flakes for a little spice, a half a teaspoon garlic powder, a half a teaspoon sea salt, a half a teaspoon ground black pepper. And then I'm adding in one tablespoon of lemon juice and a quarter of a cup of extra virgin olive oil. Now, if you wanted to make this marinade separately, you could totally mix all of those dry spices together add your olive oil whisk it together and also just pour that mixture over all of this if you were concerned about getting it all evenly distributed really well for me it worked well to just dump it all into one really big bowl and then i'm just mixing it together with my hands until everything is nice and coated with my spices and then i'm just going to let this sit on the countertop for about 20 minutes to a half of an hour to just kind of marinate uh, before we pop it in the oven. If you want to, you could totally do this the night before as well and let it just sit in the fridge overnight or in the morning before work and then pop it into the oven when you get home. All right, once that's just about done marinating, I'm taking a little dish and tip free here if you're ever mixing stuff together with oil, add your oil first and it will coat your spoon nicely and make the other stuff slip right off. So I have one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, adding one tablespoon of Dijon mustard to that. And you can see how nice and clean my tablespoon is there. Works really well for tomato paste. Taking a regular silicone basting brush. If you don't have a basting brush, you could just use a butter knife or a spoon mixing that together and then I'm just going to be coating our chicken breast with this. So grabbing a baking sheet, lining it with nonstick foil. I do have my oven preheated to 425 degrees and I'm just going to lay my chicken breast out on it and then I'm going to brush these with just a little light coating of that Dijon and olive oil mixture just for a little bit of extra flavoring on our chicken. And because I'm using chicken breast and those tend to dry out easier, this is also going to help keep it nice and juicy on the inside. You could also make this recipe using dark meat, but you would just want to adjust your cooking time and, you know, dark meat you would need to cook a little bit longer. And after I have each of those coated, I'm going to flip them over and just repeat the same thing on the other side with the rest of our Dijon and olive oil mixture. This is just a super easy keto recipe. Just taking it back to basics here, really. And I will list the ingredients for this recipe down in the description box so that it'll be easier if you want to make it on your own. So after we've got all of our chicken coated with the Dijon mustard mix, I'm just getting our Brussels sprouts and I'm just going to kind of tuck those on the pan in between our chicken breast all around them. Just kind of giving them a little twirl in the rest of those spices to make sure they're nice and seasoned. And once I have all of those on the pan, I'm popping the whole thing into that 425 degree oven for 30 minutes, but of course, always check your internal temperatures, make sure you're cooking, your chicken is cooked how you like it. Here it is when it comes out of the oven. Look at these Brussels sprouts. This smells amazing. Just super basic keto recipe, but look at the nice caramelized color on those Brussels sprouts. I don't even typically like Brussels sprouts and these were absolutely delicious. It just brings that little natural bit of sweetness out of them by cooking them this way. Here it is plated up. The pepper flakes give it a nice little bit of spice that just kind of builds on you, um, but not, you know, anything overly seasoned, you know, no extra tons of calories or carbs in this meal. Super great meal, like I said, if you're trying to you know, if you feel like you've been eating kind of poorly and you want to clean things up a little bit, this is a nice, clean keto recipe to um, kind of jumpstart you back into your healthy eating. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this really quick and easy weeknight keto meal. If you did, make sure you're subscribed to our channel for weekly keto cooking videos. And until next time, bye y'all.